Rart Capital Group could soon have another project under its wings. The private equity firm reportedly made a $2.3 billion bid for Buffalo Wild Wings, BWLD, Get Report, Monday afternoon, November 13, just months after CEO Sally Smith announced she would retire by year-end amid activist pressures. Rourke has a history of acquiring struggling casual dining chains and turning them around, as was the case with Arby's, which it bought in 2011, and Auntie Anne's Incorporated in 2010. But some industry sources say B-Dubs has enough livelihood to fend for itself, especially as investors were already optimistic about prospects of a new CEO. The Minneapolis-based company beat Wall Street expectations last month, posting earnings of $1.36 per share in the third quarter to analysts' predictions of 79 cents. We don't believe the Buffalo Wild Wings brand is dead. It still has good mind share with consumers, said Jeremy Hamlin, a senior analyst at Doherty and Company. You can argue that most restaurant operators have struggled in recent years because of higher labor costs and lower traffic trends in casual dining. Carl's Jr. is trying to sell itself to Amazon through tweets for $1.7 billion. Buffalo Wild Wings sale would be a win for this outspoken activist. Buffalo Wild Wings has seen two years of declining sales, Hamblin told The Street. Its stock lost nearly 25% of value so far this year. Its struggles arise largely from poultry prices at all-time highs. As of early October, wing prices were over $2 per pound, nearly double the 10-year average of $1.35, according to a stiffle report that found consumers ranked B-dubs to be the worst chain restaurant when it comes to value. But given the volatility of chicken wing prices, earnings could rebound when prices go back down.